Oh, welcome, and um, today I'm going to show you about um, menu system inside Android. Inside Android, basically, there are two main kinds of uh, menu. The first one is the um, um, the first one is called the overflow menu, or it can be called as option menus. Um, so if you let's say if you click on this one, it's gonna bring you to the uh, menu list over here. Okay, uh, menu is a list of another um, 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 accessibility choice. Okay. Mm, um, besides the thing that you can click on this one you can also click and it's gonna pop up uh, a menu like this okay and this one is called again the overflow menu or offset menu you can create and by front by default it's already created for every of the for every of the um, activity is created one view this way and there is another kind of there is another kind of um, um, view which is called which is called the uh, context menu okay or similar to the um, to the um, computer system which is called the uh, right click menu this one is the context menu because if I do right click on this one it's different from if I right click on um, different places okay if I do right click on um, some different places it's different okay so so um, 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 how to say uh, this one is called context menu because this one is called the context menu or some kind, sometimes it's called um, pop-up menu Okay, but this one is a context menu. Uh, inside inside Android system, that kind of menus, okay, you're gonna do a, a, a click and hold, or uh, normally we call a long click, then um, it's gonna trigger that menu to pop up if you do register the menu. So let's just uh, make a, a, a program. Let's say I'm going to create a system, new Android. This one is gonna, um, that's the menu demo, okay, menu demo, next. Okay, next, 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 finish. Okay, and you demo. Yeah, now, now uh, what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is like to get to the design. Okay, I'm gonna change this one, um, just place in a large text field, and I'm gonna change this one into um, 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 menu demo. Okay, menu demo. Then by default, whenever you create um, an application, by default, whenever you create an application, it's already created for you a menu file. Okay, it's already created for you a menu file, and that menu file is stored inside this one menu, and it is named as menu main. Okay, for the um, activity main, this one is menu main. Okay, and inside this menu, there is only one item at a time this one there is a menu tab and inside that menu tab that is only one item now which is this item this is this item uh, this item with the this item has the um, title which is uh, uh, which is um, setting okay the title which is uh, uh, settings and this one from action string and this one is has an ID as well and um, let's just if, if we run this oh no that's okay and um, another important um, properties of this one. This one is the ID is normal. This title, of course, it's a display text. Okay, and um, order in the category is you can specify the order of the item inside that um, group of, of items. Then uh, next one is share as action. You can um, uh, change it um, um, always or um, if room. Okay, always or if room. But currently it is never. Okay, what does that mean? Um, if you say like always. Okay, it's well that menu. Let's say settings. Instead of clicking and popping up this way, it's gonna be display on this action bar by default. If there is a room, okay, if there is a room, but by default it is never, which means this is not display, never display on this action bar. Again, on this action bar. But if you click on this, it's still um, overflow. Or it's gonna still um, showing out. But it doesn't mean that it display on the bar. Okay, so never displayed on the bar. Okay. Then uh, this time I'm going to make a program. Okay, I'm going to make a program. Uh, let's say by by default, by default, um, uh, the order is going to be um, 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 categorized from top down approach, and um, show um, as action by default is also never. So you can delete simply delete these two lines. Okay. Then I'm going to change the ID. This one is menu item M N I red. Okay. Then this one I'm going to change into red. 
what it, what does this one means? It means that um, I'm 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 trying to make a program which is so if we click on this one and there is a, 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 a menu for red. Uh, so if you click on red, it will change the background of this one to red. And if you click on um, green, it change the background to green. And if you click on blue, it can change the background to blue. So first we need to create the um, 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 list of items. This one is the first item. Then you're gonna create a, a second item. Okay, second items, third item. So I'm going to do this one is menu item, uh, red, green. Okay, change this one to green. And this one, I'm gonna change menu item blue. I'm gonna change this one into blue. Okay, I'm gonna select this one, Control Alt I to format the items. Okay, so I just formatted the text. So I just um, change our layout file. Okay, we change our menu file. Sorry, the layout for the, the items for the menu from this menu file. And then this menu file is just a layout and um, the uh, many objects will be created for this one and uh, it's going to create one two three objects for the items and place them inside the menu so when is this one going to happen in order to load this menu inside our java main activity it's already override a method which is override method which is on create options menu okay and then it's gonna uh, let's say if you click on if you click on this okay if you click on this it's gonna call on create, uh, it's gonna create the the menu first. It's gonna create the menu first. Then it's called the, the on create method, um, create options menu, and it pass you that menu. Okay. Then from this menu, you are going to use get menu inflator. Okay. And you inflate r dot menu dot menu main, which is this r menu. Okay. To the menu. Then you get the uh, menu display over there. So if you run this one, you'll get our menu display. Okay, if you run that one, we'll get our, oh, I have an error. So this one, kind of for, oh, um, 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 the, um, this one is the um, handling code when item selected, but then let me just comment it. Okay, let's let me comment this one, because we renamed the items here, okay? And that's, that's why there is an error um, inside here about the ID accent setting, because we will remove accent settings out. Okay. So this command, this um, several lines of handling, and I want to get back to this handling later. So you can run this one. Okay. So this one, we will put on this one. Okay. So um, this one, it will see, if you click on this one, it will create a menu. Then when it's create the menu, it's going to get you the, it's going to call the um, on options on option menu created and pass you the menu from this menu you're going to get the layout for the items and you put into the menu so that you have red green and blue correspondingly okay the next job is handling about the the, the selected item let's say if you click on red it should um, at least change the background to red if you click in uh, green it should change the background into green if you click blue it should change the background into blue so this time um, um, we need to um, in order to handle that code you need to override a method and not by default activity already overridden that one for you and you need to override the method which is on ops and um, 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 item selected so i'm going to delete all of the old code over here okay uh, keep the uh, return option uh, return lines over there so when you click on item it's going to return you that item which is a menu item and that menu items all of them are specified here it's either be menu red menu um, um, green or menu blue so we're gonna check whether they're gonna check we're gonna check um, 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 int um, selected id equal to item dot get um, item id okay this is the item which is selected and this selected will either be will either be one of this menu item um, um, red green or blue so we're gonna switch on this one switch on selected item selected ID and in case it is R dot ID dot menu item uh, red then you do something and you break okay case is R dot ID dot menu item green then you're going to do something and then you break case are R dot ID dot menu item uh, blue you're gonna do something and you break Okay, what do, we, uh, what do we mean by doing something? We want to change the background. 
okay and in order to change this background in order to change this background no collapses in order to change this background we need to access to the layout okay we need to access to the layout so you double click on this okay just double click on the the activity here then you give an id for the layer which is a um, um, uh, main layout okay which is main layer so we need to change the um, 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 background color of this layer with the id which is main layout so we are gonna get access to that one first okay that one is a relative layout how do i know it's relative layer it's here okay so this one is main layout equal to uh, relative layout um, find view by rdr.id. Uh, main layout okay so we could access to that main layout so if if uh, in case you the selected ID of the item menu item is menu item red then we're going to change the uh, background so this one should main layout dot set background color to color dot red okay similarly if you click on green it should change to green if you click on blue it should change to blue because this one is green Okay, this one is green. Okay, and this one is blue. Okay, so, so again, in order to um, 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 create the option menu, you can uh, click on this one. Or in order to um, um, uh, handling the um, um, uh, selected items, you're going to override this method on option selected. Okay, and it won't give you the um, um, item that you selected just now. So let's just run this one and test. Okay, let's just run this one and test. Okay, then if you click on this one and if you click on red, you're gonna have the background now change to red. If you click on this one, change to green, and now this one change to green. If you click on this one, change to blue, then this one now change to blue. Okay, that one is about the menu um, overflow menu. Uh, you can um, do several things with this overflow menu. Let's say you can specify the group of items, which means this menu is is a group of item, okay? Group of item, and uh, uh, these items, okay? You can uh, check each one of them, okay? You can check each one of them. This one, group of item, okay? Group of item. So. Uh, control I control on the R formatted code. If you, you you specify a group of items over here inside the menu, and if you run this one, you'll see. Okay, now your menu is actually a group of items with um. Uh, 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 you're going to set another one which is. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, groups. Okay, uh, and you set uh, checkable behavior which is a singer. Okay singer items gonna be checked okay then we're gonna remove this one let's us run this one okay let's us run this one then if you have a look at this and if you click on this one you'll see now your item your items now each there is a a, 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 a button on it okay each there is a button on it so if you click on this red it's gonna say red uh, click on this green is supposed to be green. However, you see it doesn't show you which one is selected right now It doesn't show you which one is selected right now. So you gonna be able to change it here. So this one you'll see um, You're gonna be able to take the item dot uh, set selected okay item dot item dot uh, uh, um, Set check Okay, set check and go to true Okay, item that's set check equal to true if you is actually supposed to be here. If you if you click on an item, okay, and you need to set that check equal to true. Okay, if you click on an item, so on an item selected, you need to set that um, 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 item to be check. So if you run this one now and if you click on this one and click on red and see now that item is selected. Click on green now that item is selected. Click on blue now. That item is selected for here. You see, so you can keep a group of items as well. Okay, and in the next video, I'm going to give you the context um, menu, which is the menu that if you do a long click on this one, it's gonna show you the menu. Okay, that one's for the long click. Okay, see you in the uh, next video.